Hi everyone. Let's take a quick look at a, a situation that does come up periodically. Let's say you're looking for x-intercepts, but you're looking at a parabola, and let's say it's going to be in, in vertex form here, but it turns out there are no x-intercepts there. Okay, so let's take a look at an example here, maybe a question. Let's say it's y equals uh, 2 uh, x minus 3 squared, and let's say this is uh, plus 1. Okay, now before we even jump into this, uh, sorry, let's, 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 let's just jump into it. Let's, let's take a look at the ex uh, what we get as an answer here and then interpret that in a bit here. When we're looking for x-intercepts, we're going to allow the y-coordinate here to go to 0. So we're going to let 0 equal 2 x minus 3 squared plus 1. Okay, our first goal here is going to be to get x. That is basically the only goal here. So what we want to do to do that though, uh, the first thing we're going to do here is get rid of one of these terms. There are two terms on the right hand side, this whole thing is equal to 0. One of these terms has an x in it, I want that one by itself, so I'm going to bring that other term over by subtracting it, so negative 1. Okay, subtract the 1 from both sides. Negative 1 is equal to 2 times x minus 3 squared. Now, again my goal is still to get at that x there, so there's a coefficient out front, I want to remove that, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I'll get negative 1 half is equal to x minus 3 squared. Okay. Now I know for a lot of people it's very tempting to want to expand out that binomial and, and then try to solve that equation here. Actually it's far more direct to just take the square root of both sides here. And when you do that you're going to get the positive and negative square root of, and here's the problem, negative one half. Okay. Negative one half. I'm being forced to take the square root of a negative. And so the conclusion to that is there's going to be no real roots. Okay, at this point in time we're not allowing you to take the square root of a negative, so that's kind of a dead end here. That's what that looks like when there are no x-intercepts. Now, this is what I was going to, to do initially here, but I kind of second-guessed myself and thought maybe I should go through this first. Go back to the original expression. Let's just talk about what this thing looks like. Its vertex is going to be positive 3, comma, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 1. And it opens upward, okay, because the, the 2 here, the coefficient here, this binomial is positive. So this is going to open away from the x-axis. So yeah, it doesn't have any x-intercepts, okay. Don't, when you get to this position right here, oftentimes it's really tempting for people to do something kind of goofy and what they'll do is they'll, they'll get to this point and they'll get a little nervous and oh, I don't know what to do. So they scratch out the negative. They just, they assume that that was the mistake and they erase that and then they'll bring the 3 over and so they'll say, ah, x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of a half. But that's not true, okay. That negative in there is communicating something. You just need to know how to respond to it.